Hello guys, this is your musical wolf and today I would like to share with you the review about the Lenny IRT SLS amp head. So simply, this one is really cool one. You know, if you like for something small and record your computer directly, this one is your best buddy actually according to my knowledge. It's a little bit expensive but let's go to the specs one by one. So it's basically three channels. Uh, you have the clean one and the rhythm channel both sharing the same equalizer and you have the lean the lead channel which is different equalizer and then you have the boost one so you can choose uh, like the volume of the boost with the clean tone it's basically will feel the boost more with the clean tone and this is boost on boost off and uh, uh, rhythm and clean lead and rhythm and then you have uh, the master tone and reverb and this is a what it's like the main volume so this one is shared for the three channels uh, here is the input and it's very simple um, one of the nice options you can see if you make it here all the equalizer you can get up so you go to this second range and you put it down again so you can mix between them if you want to make some one of the equalizing really high you get it out or you want to make it very low so you get the other two ones out so yeah you can practice and like make a lot of um, try and error experience <laughs> yeah and from the back it's very simple here is a power 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 cable power switch and di circuit which is like contains a di internal load it doesn't need internal load actually because it's uh, it's hybrid one i'll explain it later but consider you don't need a load internal load for this one but it has a cabin simulation and it there is a like switch here between off so it will work Without, so you will hear the guitar from this one to your computer but it's uh, sound is not good there is no cabin simulation and if you take it for one it's really cool one that one that I generally use and two sound is more dark so it's up to your taste and your music and this is for um, for ground link it's like left on left or on it's basically if you have a little bit of noise you put it on if you don't have a noise you let you keep it on left and then you have the, the reamp uh, section, which is really cool one. And uh, here you have the headphones. You have the headphones and you have the volume for the headphones. And there is an option you want to use a USB only, or you want to use the amp only, or you want to use the USB plus amp, based on what you're going to do. You have AUXN with uh, volume. And then you have the effect loop with uh, minus 10 dB, 0 dB, and bypass. And then you have this for foot switch. So basically it comes with a FS4, like four bottoms, and this one for two and two, but you will not use it, you will use this one, maybe it has some other options, if you're going to connect some extra stuff, but as far as I know, you don't need, it's like two switch and two switch, or just one with four switch, and this is to your cabin, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool one, so basically it's a hybrid amplifier head, which it means a preamp is a tube, and the power amp is a transistor or silicon or solid, and uh, it has two uh, 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 preamp tubes, uh, EC83, uh, and it's like 300 watt. I didn't try it on the speakers to uh, see the headroom and the quality, how much loud I can get without the signal get distorted. Not, I mean, talking about distortion. I mean, the signal get distorted. Even the distortion get distorted. So uh, I can't talk about its power rate, but uh, it's really high volume. The volume is really high when you take it from the DI to my computer. So basically I use it to take from this one here to my sound card directly to my computer and I record. And if you want to hear it, you can, uh, I'll put the link for uh, in the description for my song for um, countdown to extension for Megadeth. I recorded using this one. So I just connect my guitar to the amp and from the amp, to the sound card to the computer and no any external anything to basically will hear the tone of the amplifier directly with my with the guitar the guitar was Dean guitar uh, Dave Mustaine signature and uh, yeah also for the watt here you have the same option you get it out if you're going more than 50 watt you get it out and increase I didn't need to use it because as I said I just record from the DI um, the price of this one, I think it's in Europe, generally it's around 650, 675 euro. Uh, it's not that cheap, but it's um, really 
light one it's like less than five kilos or five kilos it's really small one so i put it beside my desktop my computer and i put over it actually the sound card to save the space and i put like anything beside me i just put it here you don't need to worry about the heat because there is no power amplifier tubes so you don't worry about the heat just don't put it under your blanket it will burn but like if you keep it in in a room and you can put like something over it it will be okay don't unless there's something you put it can has an effect from the heat from it but uh, yeah my sound card get a little bit warm when i put it but it's nothing wrong for any of them it's still like if if it's really hot it will get the same temperature yeah so i think that's all about it it's really nice one it's a small one and um i love the tone from Lenny personally and this is a personal taste uh, more than some other companies uh, even like a really big one and nice one but or maybe the emulation circuit from Lenny i like it more the emulation circuit of the other brands because i don't play with cabin i can't because i have a child so i need to play like directly to the computer so yes uh, basically i choose the amplifier mo mostly i feel the amplifier from the output of the di so yeah this one was really cool one in the di and uh, if you're looking for something to record at home this one is really good one size and weight is really perfect the price a little bit high and two tubes amplifier it's really good but if you're looking for something heavier you can find some other like maybe Lenny IRT studio which it has three tubes but I will make it in another video so maybe I will put the link also here after I make the other one so if you came later after a week of this video you will can find the link for the IRT studio uh, you can get more knowledge about it and there is a IRT also pulse I really love the pulse one uh, I will make a video about it later I will put the link in all the videos the three together so maybe I will make a video for compare of all of them but I think if I did a video for all for each one of them it will be fine um, yeah so if you want to hear it watch the song down if uh, you're looking for the specs you hear the specs now and uh, if you are interested in it you like how it looks and uh, the side and you're looking for something like that like a rack to put in your home studio get one and try it and hear the sound by yourself and see if you like it keep it if you don't like it send it back yeah that's my theory for like any equipment i get i just read the stuff on the internet i found it's a little bit okay okay i get it home and i try it if i like it i keep it if i don't like it i send it back so yeah so it's up to you and I think that was all for today if you have any question related to this guy just put it put your question below and I will reply as soon as possible and that's for today so cheers guys